Hello everybody and welcome back to The Rich Life. Habari Ghani. That means what's the news in Swahili. And today, the really exciting news is that I'm doing my very first Kwanzaa Tablescape tour. Now, for those of you who don't know what Kwanzaa is, it's a cultural holiday in the African American community and the African diaspora. So all over the world, we celebrate our African heritage over the course of seven days from December 26th through January 1st. And we started celebrating Kwanzaa in our home a few years ago, thanks to Riley. This show is dedicated to her. She does a Kwanzaa show every year and she insisted that we do a Kwanzaa dinner party. So we've been doing it every year since then and we love doing this in our family. You're gonna learn a lot today, again, thanks to Riley, and I can't wait to show you. I also can't wait to show you how I helped a friend in LA, you guys know how much I love LA, how I helped her do her first Kwanzaa tablescape too. I saw her table this summer and I said, oh my gosh, we have to do a tablescape on this table. So after we do my tour, we're gonna head over, thanks to the magic of video, we're gonna head over to LA and you're going to see me see her table for the very first time. Kwanzaa actually means first fruits of the harvest in Swahili, and I thought it was so appropriate to have this particular sculpture as the focal point. It's an antelope that represents Chihuahua, who is known as the spirit of agriculture, who came down to earth to teach humans how to sow crops and harvest. One of my favorite things about my table is this gorgeous runner. We've got the mud cloth print going along the middle, and then Along the sides, we've got sticks coming out. I've never seen a runner like this before. The official Kwanzaa colors are red, black, and green. But on this table, you'll see that I focused primarily on red, red and gold specifically, because I wanted to tie this in with my Christmas tablescape in my dining room. I started with these gorgeous napkins, which I got from Reflection Design, one of my favorite places to find the best in Afrocentric wares. And they're accented by these napkin rings, these bone napkin rings, which come in all different designs. And I really like how that adds to the uniqueness of the table. And then I've got my red bowls for another pop of color on the table. And I really like how this time, I don't have them on the plates, but I've actually got them on the table itself. And then for my black, I used black plates for the very first time on a tablescape that I featured here in the show. And I love this look, so you might see these more in the future too. For my place settings, I started by shopping my own collection and I used my dark brown rattan placemats, but I added these lighter brown rattan charger plates. And then on top of those, I have my black plates. I love how the shape here is not perfect. It adds so much to the vibe of the table. And then on top of my dinner plates, I've got my salad plate. The finishing touch is my napkin. I really, really love these napkins, as I said, with the red and gold and the black and white bone napkin ring. For my flatware, I'm using this gold set that I've had in my collection. I featured once in my Thanksgiving tablescape to supplement my grandmother's flatware. And then to finish it off, I've got my spoon in my bowl. And then for my stemware, I used an old favorite, my amber crackle wine glasses, which add such a nice look to finish off the table. Here on the buffet is our Kwanzaa table where we display the Kwanzaa symbols that are so central to the holiday. But I've also got some pieces that were already in my collection, some beautiful African sculptures and some drums that I wanted to add to this area as well to again, create the full vibe of the Kwanzaa look. There are seven symbols of Kwanzaa. The first that you'll see here is the mat, which is the foundation upon which we place all of the rest of the symbols. We call this the Mkeka. And then on top of the Mkeka is the Kinara, which is the candle holder. That holds the seven Kwanzaa candles, which represent the seven principles of Kwanzaa. 
The candle in the middle, the black candle, that's the Umoja candle, that's lit first. And then we alternate from red to green each night of the subsequent days of Kwanzaa. And this is the Unity Cup, which is also known as the Kikombe Cha Umoja. And it represents unity of family, community, and a connection to our ancestors. And as I mentioned before, Kwanzaa means first fruits of the harvest. So here we have fruits and vegetables known as mazao. And then next we have two ears of corn, also known as the muhendi. In each household, you're supposed to put out one ear of corn for each child in the home. And this year we put out one for Riley and one for my new nephew Clay too. And there's one more Kwanzaa symbol that you won't see here on the buffet, and that's Zawadi. Zawadi means gifts. We usually wait until after Riley's big Kwanzaa show because there's a marketplace there where we get gifts that are meaningful to her during the Kwanzaa season. So now we're going to head to LA so that we can see Asha's finished look. Now we had been texting back and forth before I made this visit, but I hadn't seen the final look. I gave her lots of great tips, but what you'll see is the result of how she put everything together. And that's what I always say. I wanna see what you put together. You can follow my tips, but your tablescape should be a reflection of who you are and what you love. Richie! I'm here! Yay! <laughs> so, You're in LA! I'm yes, so yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, I can't wait to see it. I'm not looking. I'm not looking that way. I want you to like. I, I, I'm not looking. Big I want surprise. You to, okay. Okay. Should I close my eyes or? Okay. I should, yeah. Close your eyes. Okay. I'll bring okay. it over. Okay. surprised me with this. <laughs> I love it. Asha, look at what you did. This is perfect. Look at you. <laughs> look at you. Oh my gosh. Wow. And you know I love napkin rings. <laughs> oh, I knew this would be perfect. And the copper chargers are perfect. I just love how this came together. I'm so proud of you. Your inspiration and coaching. Thank you. I could have never pulled this off without you. Literally, my table usually has a runner and just this bowl, completely empty. You're like, put stuff in the bowl. I was like, I never thought of that. Yes, look at this. This is so. I, I think I want to cry, but I don't want my makeup to run. I knew when I saw your table that it had this potential. Yeah. I wanted to have fresh pieces and rustic pieces and holiday pieces and ethnic pieces kind of all tied together. Um, and you did it. Yeah. You did it. This looks so good. I can't wait to eat at this table. <laughs> oh my gosh. So excited. So what, what's your favorite part of the table? I always like to know that. You know what I like? One of the things I heard you say is mm. to curate from your own collection. Yes. So what I'm most proud of is that almost all of the stuff I've had since like 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. And you know how you have the nice stuff that you never use? So I literally took these napkin rings out of the box that I got from Marshalls just because I thought the colors were pretty like literally 10 years ago. <gasps> so I love the fact that I was able to pull together stuff I just already had. I had these vases just as a three, I had never thought to put anything in them. Mm -hmm. So then I did the fresh flowers and I was proud of myself because um, I was, I had found a, something that had more of like the holiday gold pieces and dry. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what if I combine that with the fresh? So I actually did this myself with yes. the, um, yes. you know, with these gold pieces and the like wood pieces and put it together with the fresh flower look. And, um, and then inspired by your idea of like adding height and dimension. Mm. So, that, so that was where this came from. You surprised me. <laughs> you, you surprised, you kept things from me. I like that, I like that. I want you guys to know I am genuinely surprised. <laughs> like I knew the basics, but how you put it all together. And I love the mix of the Kwanzaa feel, but also Christmas too. Yeah. Like all in one, because we celebrate both. Right. So it's exactly. nice to bring everything together on one table, wow, this yeah, is good. So I thought the reds and golds um, gave an inspiration to have, you know, a color theme, and then just with the beiges as the neutral tones so that it wouldn't be too busy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so I, 
I'm really happy with how it came together. And you got your pops of color. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted Asha to have some pops of color. Right. Normally I'm very big. <laughs> yes. Me even yes. wearing a red dress and not black is a big thing. This is all for you, Richie. Yes, we are festive. Oh my gosh. I want to make sure you get a good shot of us together at the table. Look at this. We are festive at Asha's table. Pops. We are pops of color. Yes, 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 yes. So Richie, the other thing I wanted to show you was I was uncertain which silverware set to use. I really like this look, which mm -hmm. is my normal everyday silverware. Mm -hmm. And I loved how the hammered went with the uh, plates and the charger. Mm -hmm. But then I really liked this set as well. Yeah. And I thought that it was really, you know, the beauty and the intricacy of it. So I just mixed it. Yes. Just like I see you do. <laughs> I was so proud of my Richie moment. So yes. I, I just did the hammered on the the four outside, mm -hmm. and I did this set of silverware on in the middle. And I think the, the, the mix looks good. It does, it looks really, really good. I remember you saying you were concerned about not having a wow factor. This is your wow factor. Okay, Everything good. together is your wow factor. Oh, you good. know, how you curated this table, how you thought about these don't have to be perfectly aligned. You like the variety, that's it. Right. You know, that's it. It takes a lot to be able to put together these different elements. So you have to really be proud of this. And I, I can tell you love it. Yeah. I, I, I just, love it. But love the it. most important thing is that you love it. Right. I yeah. love it. I'm yeah. so excited. <laughs> so my table only sits six mm -hmm. comfortably, but I wanted to use all of the space and all of my different pretty dishes that I never usually whip out. So I'm setting up for 20 people tonight and I'm using the bar right here in the kitchen. And I found these really pretty chargers. Mm -hmm. This was actually what started it all. I wanted to have something centered around this really pretty charger, but I couldn't find six mm -hmm. to use at the big table. So I uh, decided to use the four on the bar. Mm -hmm. And then this plate is another piece that I've had in my collection forever and I always save. But I like the fact that it's heritage collection and they're all different pieces of art on the plate itself. Um, yeah, this is great. So I'm really excited about how this look is going to come together. I used my other favorite mm -hmm. set since mm -hmm. I had four more to use. <laughs> and uh, again, just a napkin with a gold napkin ring I thought really helped make my plate pop. Mm -hmm. And again, I was able to use these beautiful glasses that have this gold brown tint that I thought was going to look really nice with this setting. So I'm really excited about this as well. And it's different. It's, you know, it's different, mm -hmm. but I think... I think for the extra seating, it's going to be really pretty. Oh yeah, two looks that are different, but they still very, very much feel like they're in the same you know, vibe, you know? Right. And I think that this is such an interesting plate to put on here for people to look at and talk about. And that's what you want, interesting pieces on your table that make people say, wow, where'd you get this from? Right. Or what made you think to put you know, this together? And um, I have this charger, you know, I love this one. I love this charger. <laughs> and it's so versatile too. I saw this in your Christmas element, and I was like, it's beautiful. Yeah. And, and then I was like, I have the same charger. <laughs> So you need to combine those sets. Yes. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> you can borrow my four chargers whenever you like. Okay, thank you. Because I only have two. So okay. then we have now a full set we of six. We have a full set of six. <laughs> so Richie, I have another surprise for you. I put together a Kwanzaa table. Oh, yes! So I have the Kanara and everything ready. You ready? Okay. Yes, I am this, so ready. This is another part of the house. Let's go. Okay. You know, being African-American is such a point of pride. And so I try to incorporate different parts of history and culture, especially for my daughter, so mm -hmm. that she can, she can see it, all of the elements everywhere in the house. So these pieces are really special. <gasps> wow, this is beautiful. You, wait, I thought you were gonna wait for me to do some stuff. <laughs> we don't have to do anything. We're all you have to set. do is- and You told me, you know, <laughs> what to do. You told me, get really elegant candles. You know, I love these. called pretty corn. <laughs> So I, tr I got everything all together, oh some of the kente God. cloth and the mud cloth. I really liked her because she's an angel. And so yes. this really gives tribute to the ancestors. Yes, yes, this okay. is so nice. I love it. Oh, Asha, Asha, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Seriously, really I am excited. so, so proud much, of you. You're welcome. It was like all you. <laughs> <laughs> One of my no. friends came in who was like, this looks like your friend Richie who does the tablescapes. I was like, yes, it is. I've invoked my inner Richie. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I'm so proud of yeah. you. Seriously, I'm so. This was this was you. I just brought it out 
what you, it was right not out, what there you already before. had, <laughs> what you already had. And you should be so proud because you have all of this in you. I wasn't even here. I mean, I need you guys to know that I wasn't here. I mean, we we texted, you know, this was, this was a, a national effort, <laughs> right? Coast to coast. We did it. All right. So are you ready Thank for your you. party? I am. Yeah, we're going to have delicious food. Chef Kendra is coming, yes. Creole cuisine. I'm so excited. Yes, I so can't wait. Excited. I can't wait. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my very first Kwanzaa Tablescape tour just as much as I enjoyed doing it. We love this table here in our home. It means so much to us to celebrate our heritage in this way. I loved seeing Asha do her thing. This was a first for us here and I really like how it came together. And I wanna say a special thank you to you as well for helping me reach now over 5,000 subscribers. I never imagined when I started the channel two years ago that we would get here so quickly. I literally started with zero and I remember counting the subscribers one by one and I am so thankful for each and every one of you for all of your support and I hope that you will try a Kwanzaa Tablescape too or maybe just a Kwanzaa table in your home and tell me how it goes. I hope too that you subscribe to The Rich Life so that you can stay up to date with all of the latest. Until next time, take care everybody.